you know, like I was telling Yvette, um, you know, the main topic that I want to talk about today is like the abduction of Travis Walton um, in 1975. This is like probably the most or one of the most famous abduction cases in history. And the reason I wanted to talk about this particular case is because it happened only a uh, hundred or so miles from Phoenix, Arizona, more or less in the same general region of the Phoenix Lights, which we talked about last time or one time before, maybe not last mm -hmm. time. Um, first of all, um, do you know anything about this event? And if so, can you share any information on it, such as what group uh, this ship and these in these individuals belong to? Do you know anything about this? Yeah, definitely. But uh, when you would uh, ask them some uh, specific question, it would be very helpful because there is a lot of details that we could talk about. But in a general general way, uh, yeah, the the beings were greys. It's uh, the resonance is very obvious that it it were there, them and the other species that appeared later were in a way like a uh, yayo but for first or sooner um, versions version of us so yeah uh, and then what i wanted to say also like there there are many things but uh, what comes to my mind right now is about like why he um, that he didn't remember everything what really happened and it still was in a way like a screen memory or you know that's uh, part of it where a lo lot of it were um, kind of like um, you know false memories or you know manipulated a little bit by the mind like what he was able to remember and how so but of course the memories were very very greatly remembered in a way but uh, there there were some things that uh, he was not able to remember that happened and uh, he picked up because it was uh, um, filtered through many fearful beliefs and so on as, as you was able to also see in the documentary about it but yet the other rays were um, you know like a human or humans i mean uh yeah yell uh those that looked more like humans that were yeah yell but uh, still not fully as we exist right now it was a little bit uh, sooner version of us, or the hybrids, let's say, like a, let's say precursors for Yayo, like the first or yeah, the first uh, experiments of creating us. Very interesting. Um, okay, uh, another question that I was wondering about. So, like the ETs. Or the IL held on to Travis's body for five days, but he only re remembers the first 10 or 20 minutes. Do you know why they held on to him uh, the rest of the time? And like, are, are you allowed to share like any details about what happened to him during the rest of those five days? Yeah, okay, so that, that was the reason <laughs> why, uh, you know, uh, I'm now so engaging in my mind because yeah, I, I didn't remember all the details. So that was the reason why he didn't remember everything because yes, he was missing the um, memories. So yeah, even but uh, even what he uh, like uh, told, for example, what he was remembering, it was a little bit not uh, completely correct or what happened. So uh, yeah, he was taken for you know examination and uh, many different things like what uh, we were doing with the humans and uh, like studying and uh, doing some st tests uh, psychological with him and uh, learning from him and uh, even it was like uh, studying even especially his case like uh, himself that he was a little bit different uh, in a way like what he chose to and in like his psych psychological <clears throat> uh, settings or how to say it you know how he was you know built uh, as you said he was a little bit you know special by just by uh, even going th towards the UFO and so on so that's why we wanted to study him uh, we I mean like uh, right now even 
that was a older like a race of us um but still it's uh, something that we still consider like part of even our experience so that's why we say still eat me mm, so there there was some examination mostly on uh psychological level of course uh, we were doing some uh, tests also in a physical way but it was not so harmful for example unfortunately he harm harmed himself uh, when he was uh, you know struggling or fighting uh, in that moment when he got conscious so uh, that was uh, unfortunately he uh, hurt himself more uh, it wouldn't be that, uh, you know, visible on his body afterwards. But of course it was on the level of uh, also co-creating with the, the whole uh, collective consciousness that you have to bring also those kind of, uh, um, you know, signs that uh, something really happened to document also for you. So not just for us, but also for you. Well, that kind of goes into my next question a little bit. Um, an interesting fact about Travis Walton is that even before the abduction, he was apparently familiar with ufology and told people that if he ever saw a UFO, he would try to make contact with it. And I remember um, what you said when talking about the Phoenix Lights, about how the ship was able to manifest and show itself in Phoenix because this region had sort of a high concentration of let's say UFO friendly energies. Um, so like, did the ship's occupants, so to speak, manifest specifically due to Travis Walton having UFO friendly energies and like, because he walked towards the ship? Hmm. I mean, is that why he was chosen specifically? This is uh, interesting uh, question, but it's uh, like multi-layered. Uh, like mm, that was not uh, like a reason why he was really chosen that he was in that area or that there is uh, like a strong connection that he had that experience with uh, the area that later there were more uh, you know like um, uh, UFOs but it's in a way in a general the area that is more open that there is uh, like a almost a portal that is uh, in that area or the energy so uh, just it, it's more like over it uh, over the, those experiences itself so this just fact about uh, this kind of it, but it's not always like uh, active sometimes it's uh, it's something that sometimes goes and comes that it's uh, changing you know the, the openings and energies there so but uh, it happens there that there is more like a probabilities of these uh, energetic openings so it was there already before that's why uh, like he he was in that area and it was enabled for him but um, it's not like because of it or that he was because of that it was just uh, the way that it was you know synchronized by all the experience that, that, that it was the um, most probable uh, uh, point in the in the on the surface of the of the of the earth that so th there would be more probability of this happening so that's why he kind of like find himself to be there in, in the area of uh, where, where he was living and so on so it's more like um on on a higher this synchronization is happening more on higher levels of than uh, like really planning something in like a mind or even a higher mind it's something that uh, was all organized even in a, in a higher uh, level so it's not like really planned or something that's um, it, it depends like really how you look at it you know like how you understand for example synchronicity or planning but uh, i feel like you you were asking more about like those lower um, kind of like reasons of the like these things interconnecting but the reasons are more in the like a higher vibration, you know, existence or state. I see. I think I understand. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So um, now, like, the number one question in the frequently asked questions section of Travis Walton's official website is, 
did the aliens communicate with you? And his answer is no. Despite my barrage of questions, they made no vocalizations, nor was I aware of any telepathic communication during my entire experience. Um, just, I mean, it's kind of a random question, but like, do you know why the, the Yael beings like didn't communicate with him at all? <laughs> yeah, this is actually that part that I was mentioning before that he was not able to remember everything and there was a communication, but this was blocked out with his memory. So it really, um, it's almost his experience was like a dream in a way, although it was very, very physical, but it's uh, similar to dream experience that, uh, when you are in a way like your physical mind is perceiving something that is ha happening on a different vibrational level or in a shifted to reality that uh, you are filtering just part of it not everything so there was really communication but it was really portrayed from his point of view that it, nothing was really happening but this person was communicating with him uh, energetic way and so on but uh, and he even was not that frightened that it uh, seemed to his uh, like uh, mind or memory afterwards as he translated it through into his physical uh, body or physical mind so there can be like really great ex experiences or memories like uh, what really happened and uh, difference great difference when it is filtered into into the physical mind that there can be a lot of distortions so really the, there was the communication and that's why he was able to um, quite peacefully actually continue uh, and to follow the, the person. Although he seemed from his memory that he was not communicating. So actually this is what uh, I can tell you for that. Interesting. Um, now like as far as I'm aware, Travis Walton has no memories of you know, having any further experiences with any sort of Yael or ETs, do you know if like that was his one and only interaction with them or has it continued um, to this day or is there anything you can share on that? Uh, yes, uh, definitely there were more, you know, interactions and even before that actually and afterwards. So okay. this doesn't happen, you know, like uh, just uh, one time, but uh, this just one time that it happened like he uh, remembered it and so on and could bring it to the public. It's uh, it's very, um, like you said it or you wrote it before, that uh, you, you understand. It's very logical also, but it's very, you know, like... Um, uh, even like uh, you are you looking at it through this uh, positive point of view and uh, empowered way that it was really meant to be uh, something that sh was meant to be to bring to the public to uh, raise the questions many questions around it to awaken uh, more people to it of course those who want to believe and so on um, that it would give them more like a certainty that something like that happened when it, this was so so physical and you have even like a physical proof that he was missing and so on so it was well documented so definitely this was the reason that uh, it happened and should it should have happened but of course uh, these things are not that uh, we would also or even grace would expect them to happen before but uh, they understand when they are happening that it's it's like that it's meant to be so they went with it of course and so uh, trying to within a, or handle the situation in the best way possible so uh, because you know they are they were in the, or are you know in a situation where uh, they also want to you know not let's say fucked up the whole situation in a way you know even for them even maybe the, the before they didn't really care that much or didn't want uh, or di didn't know how to interact with the people so they are less traumatized but still they uh, from their point of view they didn't want to go like a bad on the humans or interact with them that they couldn't do the work they wanted to do so they also like uh, you can say <laughs> look at it in, in a point of view like from your the, your work that when you go to the work you always want to um, have it like a most comfortable as you can so in a way like they also work that way it's natural <laughs> i see